Hello, my name is Lupin Frank Gonzalez, a student of Atene of Batch Phoenix. Going to demonstrate a project on a video application. Why I chose this topic is because I wanted to build an application like YouTube, which inspired me. Not exactly like YouTube, but at least some part of it. Here, what I'm trying to build is an application of social awareness. Here, what here the user can upload videos on social problems around them and other user can basically come to this website and watch the social problems around them these videos are not directly like once the user uploads the video it is not directly shown in the timeline it is first accepted by the admin and the admin checks for its genuinity and uh, verifies it and then accepts it then only this video is shown in the timeline uh, and there is also event section where people can um, check events uh, around them and join the events if they want to and uh, i'll demonstrate the project right now uh, there is login and sign up i'll just do a login there is also validation like this email is already exist in the db so it says email already exist and let me create a new email okay email created successfully password okay so this is the user dashboard and uh, and this is the event section for the user and he can upload the videos here and there is also my video navigation where he can check the videos uploaded by that user now let me upload a video on say water or keep a city clean and, and, uh, City. City clean and write some message and uh, upload a video. This upload will take some time since it's uploading to the Cloudinary. Here I've used a Cloudinary platform. Uh, it's a platform to store images and videos. It's a cloud-based service. And um, I've used a um, library called Multer for uploading videos and images. Uh, currently, the video is uploaded, uh, uploading to the Cloudinary cloud service. Once this video is uploaded, it is not directly shown into the timeline. And... Um, the admin needs to accept this video now the video is uploaded successfully so now if i check here and i have not got that video right now and the my video section is the place where the uploaded videos of that particular users are shown here i can delete these videos but before that i can just go to the admin login page and And I, this is the admin page and I can in the request section I can see the video request by that user. I can accept or delete this video and uh, if I accept this video this video is shown in the timeline like say yes this video is shown here right now and uh, what admin can do is he can accept or decline the video request by the user you can also add events uh, like currently there are four events right now i can add one more event called save water save life and do it as hey guys let's save water and uh, i can just Put some image, say so just organize and give it my name itself. And uh, 
give it as some date submit and this event is uploaded successfully and this event is shown here right now and um, request part is just the uh, user request video request and i log out and i can go to uh, 46, uh, it was 46. and this video is shown here and he can also delete his, his videos and this will also impact in the timeline that's all about this application for now and uh, there are many improvements which we can do for this project uh, which i would like to talk later mm, and the technologies which are being used here is i've used javascript as a primary language for both front end and the back end and in the front end i've used html css and bootstrap bootstrap since is responsive and easier and we can build great application with lesser code and um, in the back end i've used node.js and express as the server mongodb for the database and finally for the deployment i've used uh, Kuroku. and other libraries which i've used is um, for video uploads i've used multer and uh, and cloudinary that is for storing the videos in the cloud-based platform and um, yeah i will also use body passes to pass the entire data of the form and to put it in the request body and uh, i've used session for authentication of the user so basically store user information in the server and and yeah these are the libraries which i've used for this application and for the future use i can i would like to add currently when i like when someone like say when someone requests for an uh, when someone uploads the video and that video is shown in the request of the admin the, there is no option like there is no reason why i'm declining the video i can i can give an like reason for why i declined the video and i can give a notification for the user like this is the reason for your video to be rejected and also like adding a like and comment option in the video section and also adding categories like what type of category what type of video is it and i would also like to add payment option like like for this particular video like if if anyone wants to donate for that particular cause like we can do that like a donate option here so that's all about this project and uh, some of the challenges which i've faced here is uh, i faced a git conflict issues which which was then like rectified later and that that helped me in getting better in the git and also a uh, issue when i was deploying the code that was basically uh, like in the app section uh, let me say where is app i've given this as a camel case landing page the path i've given it as camel case here and in the file name in the route section it wasn't camel case it was just a plain name like admin dashboard the d, d was in capital so the windows picked it up it was running fine in the local machine but when i deployed it in the heroku system since it is a linux based system and it did not pick up the changes and it gave me an error but then even after i changed here like i changed it to like camel case all the file names have changed it to camel case even then i faced the same it was like camel case in my windows system but the git but windows didn't recognize it as a change and it was not saving in the git so i had to like move the file into some other temporary files and uh, temporary file and save back 
to this file with this with the same file name so that was the issue i faced and yeah initially initially like it was difficult like I, I wasn't able to recognize the error like i i solved the issue here but when i went to the repo like git repo when i checked it the file name wasn't camel case it was just the plain name so later i got rectified it got rectified yeah that's all about this project thank you